she had kids. Okay. Prior to changing, changing. Okay. Mm-hmm. She was young, but she had been locked up for like. I want to say at that time, 10 years. Oh, wow. Right? She wanted she wanted to be a boy before she... Came to prison. Yes. And so she started transgender. She started changing and... and hormone um, therapy. Hormone therapy and all that. And all that. Mm-hmm. So she was looking like a man. Okay. Then it, uh, an epiphany came to her and she wanted to go backwards. Wow. And she actually was born with both. That was what the issue oh. was. So they kept her in population because down there wasn't big enough, big enough, long enough to insert. Right. Mm-hmm. And I guess by her having both. Right. It couldn't get anyone pregnant. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another uh, po- uh, our other episode of podcast of Meet the Shoe. I'm Sade. I'm Nina. And today we're going to have a really good talk. You know, we, I mean, it's like we've been contemplating on what to talk about. But this is this is kind of serious because a lot of us need the medical attention already and they really neglecting giving us the medical attention in prison so today we're going to talk about how the system deals with people that has that have had plastic surgery as far as uh, transgender men transgender women um besides you know a lot of us a lot of women have plastic surgery or naturally, naturally but like our but, tummy tucks, tummy yeah. tucks, butt transfers, and mm-hmm. you no know, all that t- kind of stuff. How do they deal with it? Because you know, some people may have complications later down the line, mm-hmm. especially with a tummy tuck. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. the system, the medical and medical system, they kind of you know push us behind. You know, they don't want to take care. They don't want to spend that extra money right. for any kind of surgical. Um, Procedures, cosmetic, especially cosmetic. Yep. Yeah, any cosmetic surgeries. Mm-hmm. Like, um, for instance, um, when I was in Texas, you know, Texas, Carswell, Fort Worth, Texas, uh-huh. right? It's a medical maximum, uh, medium low, and a camp. The right. Camp is across the street. I've I've explained this in. Uh, one of our first episodes in the beginning. Uh-huh. Um, the camp is across the street, but anyone that comes in with a medical condition, they have to stay behind the wall in the hospital if it's intensified. Right. If it's to the point where they're able to get along and, you know, they can make it from the other building to the medical facility, then that's fine. That's where they'll be housed at. But, um... Speaking on um, plastic surgery, there were a lot of women that were um, Spanish, right, Mm -hmm. and black that had a lot of plastic surgery. Now, at the time that I was gone, it wasn't um, too many, uh, like, botched plastic surgeries to the point where they were, they hadn't gotten to the point where they was using... um, you know, antifreeze and fix a flat and all of that stuff, Mm -hmm. right? Those stories hadn't come out yet. It was to the point where they were having um, people that didn't. They were dentists and they were doing plastic surgery like (laughs) um, tummy tucks. And because people think that if you're a doctor that you're uh, you're specialized and specialized in everything, right? Right, and you're not. And you're not. So a lot of the women that came in that had breast augmentations, right? They were having complications of getting the silicones removed, right? right? This is this is pre 2000, right? right? So a lot of those women had silicone breasts. And so oh, by yeah. them having silicone breasts, mm-hmm. um they didn't really have no way that the doctors could do, you know, A anything in there to anything. take them. All they would do is keep checking them to make sure they weren't ruptured. They didn't rupture, mm-hmm. making sure that um they weren't getting sick because of yes. because of A it. Lot of people some do. people after ten years, you know, they're no good after ten years. Right. So if they had them 
past 10 years, then they would be in trouble. Majority of the women that, that, that were there, they didn't. A lot of them had opportunities to get them out before they even enter the prison laws. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And so... Um, that was that was that was some situations That's that I dealt with a lot situation. of women, and it was all the girls. Now that I think about it, that there was all race of women that would come in there with uh, breasts, fake breasts, right? Mm-hmm. And then I met a couple of people that had um, implants in their butt. They had just started right. like really like getting into that, right? They were getting that and. They didn't really have issues. They'd get it to where they would move, like move, like turn move. inside out or upside yes, down, upside on down, you. and then um, just they would have pain sometimes with cramps and stuff. I would hear, you know, hear about that. But a lot of them didn't even want you to know that they, they had, had them, right? But you could tell, yeah. And now the women that had those tummy tucks and stuff, they didn't have issues. Okay. Then no woman that I known of that were in there that had um, tummy tucks or liposuction they just got fatter mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they didn't they didn't keep up their um their weight and stuff like exercise they and didn't stuff exercise like that, yeah. no and the one and when they did is sometimes they're too far gone because you know they say when you don't um exercise they say that it uh that that you get when you, you when you do when you do the surgeries mm-hmm. if you don't keep up the workout it goes back to normal yeah it goes right? back to or yeah. the women that get the fat transfer they take it out their stomach and put it in their butt mm-hmm. um weight won't build up right there but it'll build up somewhere else so yeah, just imagine else, you like have your legs, fat, and your, thighs. your legs and thighs so just imagine you you take the knife and you get it done mm-hmm. and you get your stomach sucked out or transferred but you got um, you know your your thighs and your legs and your butt gets bigger. Sometimes you want your butt bigger, but you still want to be all Farm proportion. Looking, yep. mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were having those kind of issues. Um, I don't know of anybody that came in and didn't um that like died because of right because of it. What I did see though is that or hear about actually I never saw. <laughs> I actually personally knew someone that was, they said, a transgender. Now, right. she had kids. Okay. Prior to... Changing. Changing. Okay. Mm-hmm. She was young, but she had been locked up for like, I want to say at that time, 10 years. Oh, wow. Right? She wanted, she wanted to be a boy before she... Came to prison. Yes. And so she started transgender. She started changing and... and hormone um, therapy. Hormone therapy and all that. And all that. Mm-hmm. So she was looking like a man. Okay. Then it, uh, an epiphany came to her and she wanted to go backwards. Wow. And she actually was born with both. That was what the issue oh. was. So they kept her in population because down there wasn't big enough big enough long enough to insert right Mm -hmm. and i guess by her having both right it couldn't get anyone pregnant exactly (laughs) yeah so she wasn't she wasn't even thinking about that right yeah she wanted to be a male Uh and she messed with women did she have breast those breasts were gone like they were they were they were she like covered herself up enough it wasn't that you can't see it you couldn't see she made sure you couldn't see it but here's the thing the tricky part she went backwards right she wanted to go back and be a woman but she had both Right, and she was trying to transfer it, so she was going to the doctors, to the medical building, uh-huh. to find out what she could do to transfer back because she wanted to have more kids. I don't know what she did to where she couldn't have kids anymore. Right, but she had three kids prior. Okay, okay, and she was crying because she wanted to have kids because she said by the time she got out, she will do twenty years. She mm. was young enough to where I think she went in when she was. Married maybe 22 she was gonna get out right before she turned 40 so she figured she still had time Time. before she was 45 to get pregnant again yeah so she 
was going to the going to the doctors every week. She was in that law library constantly. She uh-huh. was listening to every show, watching it. Like she was really engulfed into the right. situation. And it was sad to just sit and watch her. She would cry. You know, she was going to emotional you know, state, getting depressed. Yeah, she it's was depressing. getting depressed. She was getting depressed and she really wanted that to work for her. But that's why they say you got it. It's a, it's a lifestyle change you yeah, know you is. gotta really know know what you really want. mentally you gotta mentally prepare yourself mm-hmm. for that you know mm-hmm. i never even thought of anything like that but i'm assuming that when you make those life changing situations it had to be extreme right it had to be extreme for her and her family because uh she was confused you know, she was confused, but she was, tra- you know, that was the only transgender person that I had can't come across while I was there. So I know as um, far as, you know, transgender, male or female, they mm-hmm. face much more obstacles than, you know, someone this other women or men that are in prison. Right. Because they're more vulnerable. Mm-hmm. They're more vulnerable in prison. I mean, a transgender woman going to a male facility, mm-hmm. you have, you know, the breast, you look like a woman and everything like that. Mm-hmm. You, you're very vulnerable to the men because the men, you know, look at you like you are a woman and mm-hmm. they have sexual. It's like your whole your hormones, the men hormones just get aroused. Right. And they see someone that comes in. So I'm wondering how they would they, you know, protect how do they protect the them? transgender woman? Oh, the transgender woman going into a male facility? Yes. Oh, they, they, they it, if, if they're not fully transferred. But a lot of them, well, yeah. If they're not fully transferred to where they're, they don't have a female part. Mm-hmm. But some of a lot, I know too. That I that believe that they send them to the women's breast. facility. No. No? Mm-mm, not if they have the genital parts no if they, if they don't have the no 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 if they don't if they have a vagina mm-hmm. if they've all all fully transferred they oh, send they them to the, the women's, women's facility yes, yes they yes, will yes they, yes, they will yes mm-hmm. but if they if they don't have if they still have a male part they send them to the male facility right but they're still in a vulnerable state because i don't know if yeah they're they, still not safe but it's still ultimately up to the transgender person mm-hmm. if they want to be in population or not. They protect them. Right. Oh, they definitely protect them. They, they they keep them protected. They make sure that they're safe. You know, yes. they make sure that they're not going to get, you know, harmed. They do the best they can. Right. That, that they do. Mm-hmm. I, I will say that. Um, they do give them their rights, but they also tell them that, you know, hey, we're not able to watch you at all, all times. Time. Right. You know, don't put yourself in compromising situations to the point where you're um, going to get yourself in trouble because, you know, you're in here with a lot of males that, you know, want you. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> but especially you know what? with you having so many feminine ways, you know. Right. So, you gotta, they gotta think about that, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, you know, um, it was uh, two transgender prisoners in 2006 that challenged, they're, they were in Wisconsin prison. Okay. So, they challenged the fact that, um, uh, what were Hormone replacements. Okay. You know, so they wanted them, to get them. They wanted to get wanted their to hormone get them, They wanted to get their medication. Yes. Okay, and, that's fair. Uh huh. And the facilities I, was not that. providing it. Yeah, they because should. Especially if they started it before they got there. They're free. That's their free will. That's their choice. Mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm, and 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 the, I'm saying that's their free choice prior to them being yes in there. That was now, their lifestyle. Is it in, exactly? And they and they need to accommodate their lifestyle. Okay. I agree. Yeah. Because if even if that lifestyle allowed them to commit a crime, it still to me is a part of who they were. Right. They were they ain't trying to be that way when they got there. Right. They were they were already that way before they made it there. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel that they definitely need to accommodate them. So medical should give them hormone replacements, even to the point of people, you know, the um, transgender woman, mm-hmm. if they have the genital part changed into the fully the full transformation, because mm-hmm. it's certain things they have to do every day. Mm-hmm. They need that, you know, 
uh, medical device to dilate. Right. I'm assuming every day. I can't remember because I have a friend. So what that, is that tra- what what that, uh, what, what tra- is it? What do you mean? It's like the vagina, the new vagina, mm-hmm. has to be because it will close up. Right. So they have to have some kind of machine that makes them dilate or some kind of device to make it keep it open. So keep I'm what open? The vagina. Oh, the ton- the wow. Ton- wow. Yes. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming, I'm wondering, how would they accommodate though, you know, that procedure in prison? Right. Um, it's, it's, it's important. I mean, it would be important. As, I mean, they could... That's a health risk to make them even close, let them close up like that. Right. Right. I think that um, when when uh, the so you're saying that the procedure when they have the procedure that they have to have a they they have to keep going to treatments to keep them open. Is that yes. OK? And so the medication keeps them open. No, it's a it's a it's a device. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a device. I'm not sure. A hundred percent. My friend told me about it because uh-huh. she's changed over. Okay. So and it's it's been it's fresh. So I don't know if she has to do it all the time mm-hmm. at the beginning and not do it in, after a while. I'm not sure because I'm kind of scared to even ask her everything. Right, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Right. But it's it's like we we all have. They take our rights away mm-hmm. when we're in prison, but I feel that people medical should be taken seriously. Of course. You know, and of course. The prison system needs to up their game up. And what would department. what would you like to see that at that see happen? I would like to see, you know, even if we have to pay, you know, our family might pay for certain things for far as our medical medicine and stuff like that I mean that should be done mm-hmm. you just don't shut the door on a person and say oh we can't do nothing for you right 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 oh this is it you, you're you in jail okay. you lost your rights you, da, 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 you know how they do it be right. nasty with you you know right so you think that um, the transgender women or men um, they deserve to have the same medical treatment that um, the, the that other they were inmates. using before you know they yeah, came that in. Yeah, they were using before they came. I agree with that. I don't feel that it's on the tax person, you know, our tax dollars to accommodate anyone that that's is trying already to in there trying, trying to, to change. change. No, not, I think not that at all. that's their own choice because it's not fair for the transgenders that could put shell out a lot of money. You know, right. that's a whole lifestyle it change. Is. You know, I've, I've sat and listened to them and 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 watched their struggles. You know, mm-hmm. and and my heart goes out to them to that they would. You know, take take all that money. I mean, they spend a lot of money on yeah. that. Yeah, and then look you know? beautiful at that. And a lot of them look beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, listen to me. I said beautiful. <laughs> I mean, girl, it's I'm real. Saying, I said, girl. I'm yes. Just saying they look, they I'm do. like when I look at sure. a transgender woman, I'm like, uh, uh-uh, let me. I don't my even know up. the difference. No, but they and they're so sweet. Mm-hmm. Almost all of them are super. Super nice. And that's the majority of the gay people anyway are super mm-hmm, mm-hmm. nice people, you know? Yes. And who doesn't want any people to be around them that's nice? And always and happy, you know? Yeah. That's um, the, and, 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 and I feel that um the like they had a thing where they were trying to stop transgenders from um raising children like they go through so many different obstacles right so that's just like saying that um you know they're the gay people shouldn't be able to have you know a doctor whatever and it's like why it's so many you know if you had if you detect and that's any person that could be a regular uh heterosexual person right. if you detect abuse right then no but if they're gonna give them a loving home, yeah, of course, and treat them with so much love and, and respect, respect and, and raise and, them right, yeah, mm-hmm. then I mean, who are we to be saying mm-hmm. that you know, even putting our opinions on, you know, it, what they should be doing and what they shouldn't? Yeah, this world is so judgmental, and it yeah. gets on my doggone nerve to see everybody always have something to say about someone else's life. Exactly, and. 
we need to change that. You know, yeah. we need to you know be more positive and accept people for who they are and how we want to live. You know, it's it, it, that's that's it. Right. So, do you think that um, what what on um, what effect? Okay, so you know, there's a lot of people that go to prison. And they have money. Right. So, you know, they had this report. I don't, I'm don't, don't quote me on this, but I did read this, that they were starting to make the inmates pay for their medical. Oh, yeah. They, I, and when I was there, I was, uh, we had to pay a, a certain amount. I can't okay, remember. So was, I know no, we did here's a... the thing. This is what they do. They trick you. Mm-hmm. So say your family sends you money every month. Mm-hmm. You know, you got aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, everybody. They, everybody, they the whole percentage village, out. The village comes out and they take a percentage. Yeah. So 10, let me 20%. tell you. So my guy's uh, son, he's, he's not with us right now, mm-hmm. but he'll be coming home pretty soon. And so his son... We send him money, mm-hmm. and when we send him money, they take twenty five dollars off of a yes. hundred. Yes, twenty. Oh, they done went up. Horrible. It used to be twenty percent, so it's now it's twenty five percent. Twenty five dollars. Yeah. He told us one day. He says, "You know, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm all happy. I'm gonna send you a hundred dollars." When right. I was told, when I when they told me, you they got the send, whole hundred. Girl, when they told me they was gonna send me a hundred dollars, <laughs> honey, I was already spending it before right. I even before got you to the. Cause, Cause you think you're shopping, you know it's a mind. <laughs> Broken girl, bye. I already know. Look, I'm get these, this this t shirt. Exactly. This is a great jogging pants. That's that, and then exactly. the rest of them about food. Exactly. And then you get a slap in the face talking about I'm taking twenty five dollars. Taking twenty five dollars. Why you putting this twenty five dollars too? <laughs> no, they say they say facility, to, cost. facility and administration Ma- yes. um administration costs. So I'm paying the administration a part of a fee for their. They're not watching me. I'm watching myself. Right, and then the state already paying for each individual to be Man, in the prison. What is really going on? Them jokers come with that. Stuff. A big business, like big I said. Big business, baby. So you better <laughs> know, y'all out there, when you send your loved ones that nice hot honey, they only getting seventy five dollars. Oh, and don't let them own. Oh, baby. Don't let them. Mm-mm. Don't let them own. Or, or uh, owe the government, you know, some money. Oh, girl. You, the, the government is really that. on it. They take, no. They take the, no, it's not half. They, you know what it is? I know. This is what they do. They listen to your phone conversation. <laughs> they make sure you ain't putting it on an indigent person's money on an oh, indigent yes, person. Oh, yes, girl. They make oh. sure that you that they that you your your your, your law abiding all the way through in there, you know. Uh-huh. They want you to they, they expect you to be law abiding up yes, in there. They you do. Know? Yes, they, they be do. on you. They make sure that you ain't um having some money sent to somebody. Somebody else. in which some people do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I <laughs> just ain't so, have oh, you know, I send my money to so and so. Oh yeah, I used to write it out. Uh-huh. And write a letter. <laughs> I used to write it out and play it off. And any girl that was leaving, I just tell her, "Hey, I'm gonna pay you when you get to where you going. I'm gonna make sure when you get in the halfway house, you get a couple dollars. As soon as that mail get there, you ain't even got to worry about it. You finna get some money, right? And I always did. Uh-huh. I always made sure they got fifty dollars. Well, everybody did that. Yeah, everybody did that because you know when you get out, you need that. Push. Yes, you do. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You need yeah. all that money. It's just like when you get out, you just spend money stupid reasons, just for nothing, just because you haven't had money in your hand. Right. You don't know what change feels like in Mm-mm. your pocket. Oh my It's a gosh. mental. It's like, <laughs> it's, <a> li- <laughs> it's like a kid in a candy store. Gosh. It's really a mental breakdown. You know what I'm saying? It's really a mental adjustment yes, like yes, yes. honey I tell y'all just as far as um you know your loved ones going in and if they have any medical issues we yes, say again please. just like our last episode get it taken care of plastic surgery is no different it's not just like you're going in to buy a pair of shoes and right. then, you know uh you can change them out you can swap you know swap the, swap it out 
or um, you go and you get uh, your teeth uh, cleaned right. and you, you're good. You know what I'm saying? You only have to get a tune up once a year. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. no. With them, with them, uh, when you get that plastic surgery in or out, you gotta keep take care of yourself. Up on a, yeah, on you it, have you to. Know? You have to take care of yourself. It's self care all the time. Yes, definitely. And, the upkeep. and do you think? Um, so, uh, question. Say someone is in there and, you know, there's lots of people in there that they come out and they got lots of money. Mm-hmm. They got lots of money coming out of there. Right. Mm-hmm. And they um, made sure that, you know, uh, they want to take their money and 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 spend it on whatever that they want to spend it on. Do right. You think, what do you think about the government or the state keeping their money? Keeping it. Yeah, keeping it. Like, you know, they'll hold it for like 90 days. Oh, no. They you should, think no. That's, that's fair? You that's think not they fair. Should no, they should get, right as soon away, as they right? get out to the, leave the door, they should have that money. Right. I think so, too. Right in the check form. Right. I think so, too. I think so, too. So, um, what do you, what's the moral of the story? Well, the moral of the story is... Please take it. We need to push for transgender. better. Yeah, transgender. Trans, transgender. Women and men. Women and men for their medical, to, to receive their medication. To receive their medication. Mm-hmm. Any kind of um, psychological treatment, that, treatment they need. that they need. Yes, yes. That is Therapy. ongoing therapy all that you we everyone needs that because right. when you go to prison you're you're depressed exactly. you go through things exactly. you're not a, it's, it's nothing to adapt to you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying that so it's like you need that constant um support from your family yes yes you have and it, to. And, it, and it doesn't always come from lgbt community you know it it, it needs to come from the families that have uh transgender right. and gay people in their family right. it's not just because that's a choice that they choose you know people make it like that's a choice that you choose i don't know no gay people that i don't know of any gay people that are mad at their family for being straight no right you know right they just want their respect and their support mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying exactly. they know what you are they respect what you are majority of them do don't don't just throw them away just because that's the lifestyle that they choose to live you know we all make all of us make mistakes and we all do things that were the next person that we don't agree with right so that's no judgment there's no judgment on meet the shoe no we've seen every Every single single kind of person yes Yes. from murder to child molester to gay straight Everything. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So there's no judgment here on Meet the Shoe. And we love you guys. We love everyone. And we just like to bring out stories. We want to thank you for supporting us. We would like to uh, let you know um, when we have resources for you. We always communicate Mm -hmm. and let you know the resources that we have. And if there's any topics... And any information that you want to give us or enlighten us on this episode or any of the episodes that we've talked about in the class, please let us know. Right. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Meet the Shoe. Thank you. Have a nice night.